I'm about to enter the biggest fight of my career. And in that fight, all of a sudden, the biggest fight of my life happened after the fight of my life. Me and my brother Michael, we both started boxing around the same time. Mike was about 13, I was eight. We excelled, we did really, really good. We pushed each other to get better. Week shy of my 19th birthday, I turned professional. Everybody knew where he was going. All the big trainers wanted to train him. He could beat anybody. Rock Nation was his promoter. Daniel Franco was one of those fighters, very professional. We ended up signing him to a promotional agreement with Rock Nation. All the preparation that I've done my entire life boiled down to a single event. I helped Oscar Valdez get ready for one of his fights. He caught me with a really big punch. He kind of sat down on the ropes a little bit, and he's never been dropped. You got to understand, you're going to get hit with something. Everybody gets hit. Everybody gets hit at least once per fight. Then I go fight somebody who's been in the ring with five different world champions. He got hit by a right hand that Christopher Martin had. And from that point on, he mentioned, I have headaches, I have headaches. Getting hit in the head and boxing, it hurts a lot more. If you tell me tomorrow you're going to win the title, but you might die afterwards, then I'm probably going to die because we're going to win that title because that's who I am. I know what I signed up for, and I'm happy I signed up for it. Daniel got hit by a wild punch. Maybe we should probably slow down. He was pushed by his manager, his team, his promoter to keep going. He just keeps complaining about his head. My head hurts, my head hurts, my head hurts. Ah, oh, I got this headache, I got this headache. Putting his head under a lot of stress and trauma again in such short notice was not good. You know the brain's not supposed to get hit all the time. But it's mandatory that he fights for his belt or he's going to lose it. June was my time to come back from my knockout loss. Seeing someone you love just drop and not move was very, very scary. Right there, we knew we'd take him to the hospital. We don't know if he's gonna make it. Operate him. They had to operate him immediately. My heart just broke. It's the residual effect. It's the family that has to live with the residual effect. It's the family, the wives, the children. That's the problem. Prayers tonight for a local boxer. A local boxer is fighting for his life. It wasn't the first blow, but it was the punch. I think my brother was thrown in too soon by his management. He had a concussion, and then they threw him in a month, maybe even before that, directly into a fight, into a championship fight. 12 round championship fight. I would have to believe Jay-Z was aware of it. I don't see how Jay-Z couldn't have known about Daniel Franco's situation. Too, he runs that company, it's his company. Though, have you ever considered though, I mean, a professional prize fighter, you're taking lots of blows to the head, both of you throughout your career, with the possibility of, say, permanent brain damage. I know you're not concerned about two black fathers' brains being hurt that much now. I know you're not that wrapped up over our brains. You really consider, you really worried about my brain? I did not ever think that a day in my life that I would get brain trauma from boxing. It's physically impossible for me to remember what happened. But when I was fighting, I was a fighter. I just wanted to hurt people. I, I'm the one that got hurt. <laughs>